Let's get some clarity on a, ver a variety of issues from our Dr. David Agus, who's going to join us from his home in Los Angeles. Uh, Dr. Agus, good morning. Uh, I want to begin with something that came out of the White House coronavirus briefing yesterday. The president himself said he did not think we need widespread testing. That seems to contradict the advice of, of many of his medical experts. Uh, I, from your perspective, from where you're sitting, what do we need to have in place from a testing perspective before we lift these sort of social distancing guidelines at the end of the month? We're going to need three things, Tony. I mean, one is we're going to need the ability to do millions of tests a week. And that word was right, millions of tests. When we open up, there's still going to be cases. We also need to do what we call immune surveillance. That is a blood test to see whether you actually had the virus or not. So not whether you have it, that's the DNA test or the RNA test, but actually whether you have it. And then the third is we need to do social tracing. That is, we need the ability, if you do test positive, to go back and say, who did you interact with over the past few days? Because those people need to be kept at home. And so when you have three of them in place and low numbers of cases, we're going to be able to let people out in a graded way, and we're going to get back to a new normal. But we need those in place. How much progress have we made to having those in place? I mean, are they in place today? <laughs> Well, we, we, we're, we're getting up with the capacity of tests. We're not there yet with testing who has the virus. We certainly have a ways to go. You know, there was data that the Abbott machines are out there, but not everybody's using them yet. So the infrastructure needs to grow to do the test. The test for who had the virus in the past tense, that blood test, we're nowhere with it. We really have not scaled that across the country yet. And there are a couple of small tests that are being done, but very little. The idea of social tracing, we're going to have to talk about privacy issues going forward. Do you need to know who I interact with over the last two days? I think you do to actually do true social distancing or quarantine of those individuals and to do it right. So those conversations have to start happening now and the technologies have to be scaled. Well, on the subject of immunity, what are we learning about whether once you've had this, if you recover, can you get it a second time? It's a great question. And there was data that came out of South Korea um, that showed that individuals who had it tested negative twice, then tested positive again. So was it wrong test? Was it a false negative on the test? Did the virus reactivate? Their answer is we just don't know. There's a separate study out of China, which I think was really illuminating, in that they looked at the level of immunity in the blood of people and about 30% didn't have enough immunity after they recovered from the virus. And most of those were the younger ones who had the milder symptoms. So what does that mean in the scale of things? We just don't know yet. And those studies, while they're in South Korea and China, we need them to be done here in the United States. It's time now we started to do our own studies and had our own data so we can make the right decisions based on that data. All right. Dr. David Agus, progress clearly has been made, but there is still more ground to cover. Appreciate your perspective this morning.